Hello and welcome to Affiliate Reviews. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at XBuilder. Just before we jump in, a reminder, this is an honest review video, not a sales promo or hype video. My goal here is to give you the honest truth, my honest opinion, uh, and as much information as is available to me. I want to try to steer you guys away from bad products, steer you towards the good ones, and ultimately help you figure out if a given product is a good product for you in whatever niche of the online economy you're trying to function in. So uh, with that in mind, there will be a link to the sales page in the video description. It's going to take you to the page we're looking at right here. If you choose to purchase the product through that link, I will receive a commission. But as always, I don't want to see you purchase a product that you aren't convinced is going to be a good product for you. Uh, my concern is to help especially new and upcoming affiliate marketers to avoid a lot of the hassles and headaches that are waiting all over for you and to help you on your way to a successful, less stressful uh, career in affiliate marketing. Uh, there's an awful lot of bad products. There's a lot of good ones too. I want to try to help you find those good products. So uh, with that in mind, let's, uh, let's jump in. Uh, this is X Builder. This has been out for a few days now. Uh, I had intended to do a, uh, a review of this the day that it launched, and I don't know. I think I think the sales page wasn't uh, wasn't really active until the product launched, and by then I got busy, and I've simply been distracted with other things since. So, um, this is. Unlimited done for you high converting website sales pages funnels landing pages and inbuilt hosting The best part of this entire sales page is going to be the demo video down towards the bottom um, Unfortunately most of the rest of what we're going to get is going to be the usual sales hype and sales copy that we're used to seeing so we're going to see, you know, we've, we've got a timer going here that's going to uh, pretend to raise the price. Uh, we've got, you know, now this is, this is, this right here isn't hype. This is actually looking through what it does. Okay. So want to be fair to this. Uh, you can create unlimited websites, drag and drop, unlimited hosting included, done for you, uh, done for you templates. So again, a lot of this is best demonstrated with the demo video down below. Uh, unfortunately, the video for some reason was done without any real sound. Uh, someone talks for a few seconds and then the rest is just watching someone drag and drop random components to a sales page. Um, one click integration so you can you can uh, bring bring your autoresponders, your webinars, your uh, your affiliate offers, whatever into uh, into your pages. Custom domain, so if, if you don't want to see, you know, my domain dot X builder or whatever, you can use a custom domain uh, so that it doesn't look as if, for example, uh, a lot of click funnels, um, sites that are that are done through click funnels will show up with a click funnels web address. And of course, there's nothing wrong with that, but it, it does kind of make you look a little bit less professional. So this is going to let you kind of hide that you know, video training on how to use the program low one-time cost now this is I do want to be clear low one-time cost for the front end unfortunately there is going to be a pile of uh, upsells available on this and I have no problem with upsells and one-time offers but some of them honestly a lot of these I can't tell you anything about the upsells and one-time offers even if I wanted to because without purchasing the product there's little to no information made available so um, it might take a look at those briefly towards the end of this video uh, however the front end is going to be one one purchase one price so here we go I'm just talking about the importance <clears throat> of a site or page and of course, the problem is that if you're looking, if you're getting started, yeah, you've you've got to, you've got to find a, a place to you've got to register your domain, you've got to host your site, you've got to either do the work of putting a page together. Legitimately, there are some hurdles to getting a web page up and running. Uh, so again, this is going through the various things you can get and do with this. Uh, trusted instant website builder. I'm not. 
entirely certain about that word, but we'll look at that a little bit later as well. Three steps. Again, we always get the three steps, and there there are many words that I try not to use in this uh, series to describe what you know what happens with three steps because you know activate X builder profit. Well, no, somewhere between step one and step two and step three is all of the work of actually creating the websites and you know picking your domain names, putting together your store, building your sales. You know there is actual work involved in here. So the three steps, and of course, here we go. Here's the dream. You too can you buy this product, and you know what? You're going to go through these one, two, three steps up here that have nothing to do with work, and when you get to the end, you're going to be staring down this dock on some beautiful azure blue water beach in some warm palm-fronded part of the world, Okay, let's look at the product, guys. Now, we've got from the desk of Al Cheeseman, Kenny Tan, and David Kirby. I am intentionally not going to say anything about any of those guys. They are all very well-to-do affiliate marketers. This is looking at, again, just talking about what, how it compares with, with other products. Uh, again, we're going down here. We've got more and more and more, blah, 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 blah. Um, and unfortunately, we finally get down to... So again, this is going to go through everything we've, we're going to get. This is actually showing you various features that you can pull out with the uh, various drag and drop features that are going to be available in the software. And here we finally get a demo. Um, it's not a long demo. Uh, you can, and unfortunately, it's got poor video control. So uh, not only can you not fast forward through anything or anything like that, but you also can't make the screen uh, bigger without uh, some complications. So it's difficult to see exactly what's going on. Basically, I think what the demo shows is that if you're looking to build sales pages like the one we're looking at, um, like the sorts that I personally detest because they're 99% fluff, 1% fact, and, you know, a sales tag on the end. Personally, I despise these, but that doesn't mean you have to build this kind. This is going to give you pre-designed components that you can pull out uh, to build a sales page. And un unfortunately, the demo being as short as it is for some reason... Um, doesn't really show versatility. It just kind of shows that it would be great for building a sales page. Um, you're going to get some other useful things in there. You're going to get redirect pages. You're going to get, um, <clears throat> again, sign-up pages you can use with your autoresponder and so on and so forth. Uh, I think, to, to be honest, I think the initial software and the idea that you can host multiple websites in one place for a one-time price looks really good. I have some concerns. So the uh, the one of the concerns that I have is the, uh, we're going to go over here. This is the sales funnel for this product. Um, and it is rather a monstrous sales funnel. Why does that cause an issue for me? Sometimes you'll notice that I'll point out I don't like a sales funnel, and sometimes I do. The first thing I don't like, so here's our X Builder front end. That's what the FE is going to stand for. Right after that, we've got X Builder one time offer, and there's no information. Okay, so the first red flag I have when I look at this to review it for you guys is what is it that's being offered in this one time offer that you know, it, it, is, it doesn't say unlimited. It doesn't say, um, you know, we, we weren't told over here that we can build five websites or ten websites or something like that. We weren't given a limit. We were specifically told unlimited. Well, what is it then that is over here? Do we have extra assets? Because there was nothing about that mentioned. Okay, so what I want to see in the front end is everything that is promised on the sales page. What I want to see here, I 
Dealy, and and as as uh, an affiliate who is uh, promoting or marketing or reviewing this product, just looking at it from an honesty perspective, this is something that I want to see uh, some information on. And there's no information. I, I did look at the JV page. There's no information over there either. It just shows the general funnel. Uh, one time offer number two. This is automation, so obviously this is going to presumably be giving you. Um, some tools that are going to help things run automatically. Three is going to give you some done for you. Um, we're not sure. I'm not, I can't tell you what done for you it is. Um, you're going to get some pre-built campaigns with four. You're going to get some additional traffic tools with five. You know, the reseller rights with six. A mem product membership. Okay, so again, the front end, there's, there's just a one-time price, but there is going to be a membership up here that is available. Uh, the Goldmine Club, again, this is this is sounding to me like another membership or, you know, th this is gonna get you access to a community of some sort anyway. Uh, and then White Label up here. Uh, so there's, there's a pretty monstrous uh, page for, for this. Uh, the prices on these are gonna run anywhere from uh, I think about 18, well, we've got, we've got 1628 for the front end, uh, and the one-time offers are going to run up to about $200 US. Uh, so this is hesitation I have, number one. Again, I don't mind a lot of these one-time offers. If somebody wants to offer a subscription service that's going to include perhaps regular training or regular content updates or whatever, I'm perfectly fine with that. I think that's legitimate. Um, but this one right at the beginning, actually these two at the beginning really bug me and the fact that there's no information available until you get in and purchase the product and I, I am concerned about how this is going to impact the front end here. Uh, the second concern I have, again, uh, there, there's a couple advantages to doing this review a few days after the launch and uh, this is the page that is uh, associated with XBuilder over here. And now again, this is a product that's designed to sell. And you can see it's done that very, very well. In four days, it has sold more than 2,000 copies, uh, which is going to be very, very profitable for the people who are pushing it hardcore. Um, and you can see it has a 2.67 rating. Now there's only nine reviews on this. Right, so it's it's fair to say, look, you know, the people most likely to give a bad review are the people most disgruntled with it, and I've pointed that out before. However, we've looked at an awful lot of products that have four star and higher ratings. Um, we can see uh, here's Profit Mailer. I did a review on Profit Mailer that I, you know, I believe my final word on it was that I wasn't impressed and I wouldn't recommend it, uh, and it has a 1.91 rating based on 65 reviews. Again, it sold very, very well. We've got 2.28, we've got 1.64, 2.27. These are not products that are impressing a lot of people. And again, this, this account in particular has a two-star rating based on 157 ratings. That, that raises some concerns for me. Uh, I've, I've looked at a number of products recently where there's, uh, they're being moved by vendors who have a, a very high rating. Uh, they have a four star or higher. There's always going to be somebody disgruntled and I get that and I understand that. And I'm not saying that I expect this product or any product to be perfect and loved by everyone who buys it. But unfortunately, there's an awful lot of hype. And again, everything from the sales page to the funnel is designed to sell, but obviously there's some concerns with people being satisfied with the product. And I think, I think there's going to be two kinds of people who are going to be dissatisfied. One, I think, are the people who are looking to pick this up for the front end price. If you're looking to spend $16, I think you're probably going to be disappointed with what you're going to get for $16. Uh, I think the other people who are going to be disappointed are the people who buy a few of the one-time offers and still don't quite get to where they want to be. Um, 
the reality is that a lot of these systems and secrets and so on and so forth, they talk a big game, but at the end of the day, they don't necessarily perform quite as well as you, the consumer, would like. So I think the software looks really cool. Uh, if you're looking to build sales pages, if you want to build, uh, if you're looking to build funnel pages, I, again, I wish that the demo was longer. Um, I don't see a good reason with a product like this not to do a five or 10 minute long demo video in a normal standard video format that people can make full screen so they can read the text properly, uh, where people can pause it and rewind and fast forward and things like that. I, I don't I don't understand why a page like this that's looking to sell wouldn't be promoting the product more clearly and showing off its versatility and showing how, you know, show, show me, again, watch, watch, go to the sales page, look at the videos. Um, but there's certain things that I don't see that I would like to see, like how easy it is to uh, change the images and change the, the text and things like that in different elements of the drag and drop builder. I, I have some hesitations with this. Again, I've, I've not gone out and bought it. I'm not, I don't have the time to buy and peel apart every single product that comes out in a day. Um, but I do have some serious hesitations on this. I like the look of it, but there's enough dubious things going on here that I'm going to have a hard time going out and, and telling you, go buy this one. This is Now, I'm not going to tell you don't buy it either, because again, I watch it for yourself. Most of the sales page is junk and isn't going to give you anything useful. You want to look at the lists of content that you can expect to get. And you want to look at that demo video. Those are the two things that those are the those on the price are the only things on this page that are actually worth your time in looking at. The video is going to be the biggest thing, not the not the promo video at the top. Look at the demo video and ultimately decide. I would say based on that more than anything else whether or not this is going to be something that you think is useful. Looks super cool. Unfortunately, there's reasons for hesitation, so I'm giving this a guarded decide for yourself based on those factors, okay? Um, I do honest reviews because I don't want on my conscience, hey, I told someone to buy something and it was a bad product. I do honest reviews because I don't... Look, I could tell you guys, hey, go out, buy this, here's some bonuses, and... I could, ease, I could comfortably make $150 off of everybody who buys this if you go for some of the one-time offers. That would be very good for me. Obviously, that's where super affiliates come from is they, they send uh, 500 people who... 500 people make a purchase through their link for a product like this and they make scads of money and they wait for the next big-looking product like this to come along. I would rather not make those sales, then have you buy something that's not right for you. So check out the demo video and go from there. And I know that that is probably not the good or bad that you are looking for, but it is about as much information as I have available to me right now with the time that I have to put into one of these reviews. So I do hope that that's helpful. Uh, if somebody has had an experience with this product, uh, I would love to see your comments in the, uh, in the in the comment section down below. Let us know what your experience is with this. Uh, I don't want to see a lot of people just harping on um, Al Cheeseman and Kenny Tan and David Kirby, but if you have experiences with some of their products in the past, that's fair too. So um, let us know. Check out the links in the description if you appreciate this review and the things I have to say. Like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys back here again soon.